The moment Chinese military officials thought they had America's most advanced fighter jet figured out, reality came crashing down like a thunderbolt. Just weeks ago, China released what they called groundbreaking simulation results, showing their J-20 fighter dominating the legendary F-22 Raptor with a staggering 95% win rate. Military forums exploded, defense analysts scrambled. For a brief moment, it seemed like the balance of air power had shifted across the Pacific. But here's what they didn't tell you about those simulations. When stripped down to a fair one-on-one -on -one fight, no drone swarms, no numerical advantages, just pilot versus pilot, the J-20's win rate collapsed to less than 10%. That's not a typo, less than 10%. The Pentagon's latest classified assessments have just been declassified, and the numbers are absolutely devastating for China's claims. Despite producing over 250 J-20s compared to America's 187 F-22s, the technological gap remains a Grand Canyon-sized chasm. The F-22's radar cross-section is literally 10,000 times smaller than the J-20s. To put that in perspective, enemy radar sees the F-22 as a marble, while the J-20 appears as large as a small car. But that's just the beginning of this story. What we've uncovered goes far deeper than just radar signatures and missile counts. This is about America's quiet dominance in the most critical battlefield of the 21st century. The invisible war fought in electromagnetic spectrum, where stealth reigns supreme. If you're as shocked by these revelations as we were, type stealth power in the comments below and let us know what you think about America's technological edge. The numbers that just came out of the Pentagon's 2024 China Military Power Report paint a picture that's both reassuring for American air superiority and concerning for the sheer scale of China's military ambitions. But before we dive into the technical details that will make your head spin, let's talk about what this really means for the men and women in uniform who might one day face these aircraft in combat. Our F-22 pilots, the best trained aviators in the world, have been quietly preparing for this exact scenario. Every training mission, every exercise, Every technological upgrade has been building toward maintaining America's edge in air-to-air -air combat, and the results speak for themselves. The F-22 Raptor isn't just another fighter jet. It's a masterpiece of American engineering that took decades to perfect. When it rolls down the runway, it carries with it the collective genius of thousands of engineers, the dedication of countless test pilots, and the hopes of every American who believes in technological superiority through innovation. Let's start with the most important number that defense officials whisper about in classified briefings. The F-22's radar cross-section measures 0.0001 square meters. To understand how incredibly small that, that's what enemy radar operators are dealing with when they try to track an F-22. Compare that to the J-20's radar signature of approximately one square meter, about the size of a large dinner plate. In the world of stealth technology, that difference isn't just significant, it's the difference between invisible and highly visible. When Chinese radar operators look at their screens, they see nothing where an F-22 fly, but a clear, trackable blip where a J-20 operate. This massive gap in stealth capability comes down to fundamental design philosophy. American engineers spent the 1980s and 1990s revolutionizing how aircraft deflect radar waves. Every angle, every surface, every rivet on the F-22 was designed with one goal, to make the aircraft as close to invisible as physics allowed. The Chinese took a different approach with the J-20. They prioritized range and payload over pure stealth. It's a reasonable strategy for their needs, but it comes with consequences. Those distinctive canard wings that give the J-20 its agility also act like radar reflectors, bouncing electromagnetic waves directly back to enemy receivers. But here's where it gets really interesting. Chinese military scientists aren't stupid. They knew their stealth technology couldn't match American capabilities, so they developed a completely different strategy. Instead of trying to hide one superior aircraft, they decided to overwhelm American defenses with numbers and coordination. This is where those simulation results start to make sense. When Chinese researchers pitted one J-20 against one F-22 in computer models, the American aircraft won over 90% of the time. The F-22's superior radar could detect and engage the J-20 long before the Chinese pilot even knew an enemy was present. But when they added drone swarms to the equation, everything changed. 
two or three unmanned aircraft coordinating with each J-20, created multiple targets, confused defensive systems, and provided the Chinese fighter with enough support to achieve that 95% win rate they've been bragging about. Here's the problem with that strategy. It assumes those drones will survive contact with American defensive systems. Our military hasn't been sitting idle while China developed these tactics. The same technological superiority that makes the F-22 invisible has been applied to electronic warfare systems, anti-drone weapons, and network disruption capabilities. American defense contractors have spent billions developing countermeasures specifically designed to handle swarm attacks. When you combine F-22s operating with their own loyal wingman drones, advanced electronic warfare capabilities, and the most sophisticated air defense networks ever created, China's numerical advantage starts to look less impressive. Let's talk about production numbers because this is where China has been making real progress. They've already built more J-20s than America has F-22s and they're cranking out roughly 100 new aircraft every year. On paper, that looks concerning, but numbers don't tell the whole story. Each F-22 that rolls off the production line represents the culmination of the most advanced manufacturing processes in the world. The aircraft's skin isn't just aluminum, it's a composite mixture designed to absorb radar waves. The engines aren't just powerful, they're designed to minimize heat signatures that enemy missiles use for targeting. More importantly, every F-22 pilot represents years of the most intense intensive flight training ever devised. These aren't just good pilots, they're the best of the best, trained on the most advanced simulators, with access to the most comprehensive intelligence about enemy capability. Chinese J-20 pilots are certainly skilled, but they're operating with significant disadvantages. Their training programs, while improving, don't have access to the decades of stealth combat experience that American pilots have accumulated. Their aircraft systems, despite impressive progress, still rely heavily on technology that's generations behind American capabilities. The engine situation perfectly illustrates this technology gap. For years, J-20s flew with Russian-made engines because China couldn't produce power plants capable of matching the aircraft's design requirements. Their new WS-15 engines show real progress, but they're still unproven in extended combat operations. Meanwhile, the F-22's Pratt and Whitney F-119 engines have been refined through decades of operation. They provide not just raw power, but reliability that can mean the difference between completing a mission and becoming a casualty. In aerial combat, engine failure isn't just embarrassing, it's often fatal. The weapon systems comparison reveals another massive American advantage. While the J-20 can carry more missiles in external configurations, doing so completely destroys its stealth profile. Those external weapons pylons turn the aircraft into a giant radar reflector, negating any stealth advantage the basic airframe might provide. The F-22 carries fewer missiles, but it carries them internally, maintaining its stealth profile throughout the entire mission. Six AIM-120 AMRAMs and two AIM-9X Sidewinders provide more than enough firepower to handle multiple targets while remaining virtually invisible to enemy defenses. But perhaps the most significant advantage isn't in the aircraft themselves. It's in the supporting infrastructure that makes modern air warfare possible. American F-22s operate as part of an integrated battle network that includes AWACS aircraft, satellite communications, real-time intelligence feeds, and coordination with naval and ground forces. This network effect multiplies the capability of each individual aircraft. A single F-22 doesn't just carry its own sensors and weapons, it has access to the combined sensing capability of the entire American military machine. Enemy aircraft positions, missile launches, and threat assessments flow seamlessly between platforms, creating a level of situational awareness that no individual aircraft can achieve alone. China has been working to develop similar network capabilities, but they're starting from decades behind. Building reliable, secure, jam-resistant communication networks isn't just about having good technology. It requires operational experience that can only come from years of real-world testing and a refinement. The electronic warfare dimension of this competition reveals another area where American capabilities shine. The F-22 isn't just stealthy, it's equipped with some of the most advanced electronic countermeasures ever developed. These systems can jam enemy radars, spoof missile guidance systems, and disrupt communications networks. Chinese aircraft are certainly equipped with their own electronic warfare capability, but they're operating in an environment where American systems have been specifically designed to counter known Chinese 
Chinese technologies. It's an arms race where America has been running for decades while China is still learning to walk. Recent intelligence assessments suggest that Chinese military planners understand these limitations. That's why they've been focusing so heavily on developing asymmetric strategies, approaches that avoid direct confrontation with American technological advantages. The drone swarm strategy is just one example. China has also been developing hypersonic missiles, anti-satellite weapons, and cyber warfare capabilities designed to attack the supporting infrastructure that makes American air superiority possible. If you can't beat the F-22 directly, maybe you can blind its sensors or disrupt its communications. But American defense planners haven't been sitting idle. The same innovative spirit that created the F-22 has been working on next-generation technologies designed to maintain American advantages. Directed energy weapons, artificial intelligence integration, and advanced manufacturing techniques are all being applied to ensure that American air superiority continues well into the future. The upcoming B-21 Raider Bomber and 6th Generation Fighter programs represent the next evolution of American stealth technology. These aircraft will incorporate lessons learned from decades of F-22 operations while adding capabilities that current Chinese aircraft can't even attempt to match. Perhaps most importantly, the F-22 program has created a foundation of knowledge and experience that extends far beyond the aircraft itself. The manufacturing techniques, material science, and systems integration developed for the Raptor have been applied to everything from the F-35 Lightning II to civilian aircraft production. This knowledge base represents America's real strategic advantage. While China can copy existing technologies or develop impressive individual systems, creating the integrated battle-tested capabilities that make the F-22 so effective requires decades of experience that simply can't be shortcuts. The pilot training dimension of this competition deserves special attention because it's often overlooked in technical comparisons. American F-22 pilots don't just learn to fly their aircraft, they learn to think like the aircraft. The integration between pilot sheen reaches levels that border on the supernatural. These pilots train against the most advanced threat simulators in the world. They practice fighting aircraft that won't exist for another decade. They learn to coordinate with systems and platforms that most people don't even know exist. When they climb into an F-22 cockpit, they're not just operating a machine. They're conducting a symphony of technology that has been decades in the making. Chinese pilots are certainly dedicated and skilled, but they're operating within a system that's still learning how to integrate all these complex technologies. Their training programs, while improving rapidly, don't have access to the depth of institutional knowledge that American programs have developed. The maintenance and logistics aspects of stealth aircraft operation reveal another significant American advantage. Keeping an F-22 mission ready requires incredibly sophisticated support systems. The special coatings that provide stealth capability need constant attention. The advanced electronics require specific environmental controls. The weapon systems need regular calibration and testing. American military logistics have been optimized for these requirements over decades of operation. Every tool, every procedure, every backup system has been tested and refined through real-world experience. When an F-22 needs maintenance, there's an entire ecosystem of support designed to get it back in the air as quickly as possible. China is still developing these support systems for the J-20. Building the aircraft is just the first step. Creating the infrastructure to keep them operational is an entirely different challenge. Without robust logistics support, even the most capable aircraft becomes an expensive hangar decoration. The intelligence dimension of this competition is perhaps the most critical and least understood aspect. American intelligence services have been studying Chinese military developments for decades. Every J-20 test flight, every pilot training program, every technological development is monitored and analyzed. This intelligence advantage means that American planners know more about Chinese capabilities than Chinese planners know about American capabilities. When F-22 pilots train, they're practicing against accurate simulations of J-20 performance. When they develop tactics, they're designed specifically to exploit known Chinese weaknesses. The strategic implications of American air superiority extend far beyond individual aircraft comparisons. Control of the air enables everything else American forces do. Ground troops can operate with confidence knowing they have air cover. Naval forces can project power, knowing they won't face significant air threats. 
strategic bombers can reach their targets knowing the skies have been cleared. China's focus on developing anti-access capabilities reflects their understanding of this reality. If they can't challenge American air superiority directly, they need to prevent American aircraft from operating in contested areas. It's a reasonable strategy, but it's fundamentally defensive rather than offensive. Looking toward the future, the competition between American and Chinese air power will continue to evolve. China will undoubtedly improve their technologies and tactics. They'll build more aircraft, train more pilots, and develop new capabilities. But they're chasing a target that continues to move. American technological development hasn't stopped with the F-22. The lessons learned from Raptor operations are being applied to next-generation systems that will maintain American advantages for decades to come. The men and women who designed, built, and operate the F-22 Raptor represent the best of American innovation and dedication. They've created not just an aircraft, but a system that embodies everything that makes American military technology the envy of the world. When tensions rise and conflicts threaten, it's reassuring to know that the skies above American forces are protected by the most capable fighter aircraft ever created, flown by the most skilled pilots ever trained, supported by the most advanced military infrastructure ever assembled. The F-22 Raptor isn't just dominating in this stealth showdown. It's defining what air superiority means in the 21st century, and that's something every American can be proud of. The story of the F-22 versus the J-20 isn't just about technology, it's about the values and dedication that drive innovation. It's about the engineers who spent sleepless nights perfecting radar-absorbing materials. It's about the test pilots who risked their lives proving new flight systems. It's about the mechanics who ensure every aircraft is mission ready when called upon. Most importantly, it's about maintaining the peace through strength that has been the foundation of American security for generations. When potential adversaries see the F-22's capabilities, they think twice about aggressive actions. When allies see American air power in action, they know they can count on us when times get tough. That's the real victory in this stealth showdown. Not just technical superiority, but the security and stability that superior technology provides. The F-22 Raptor isn't just dominating the competition, it's keeping the peace, one invisible mission at a time. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into America's technological edge in the skies. If this analysis opened your eyes to the incredible capabilities of our military technology, consider hitting that like button and subscribing for more content that celebrates American innovation and strength. Until next time, keep looking up. You might just see an F-22, or more likely, you won't see it at all.